welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that has been again requested very heavily by every one of you and I have said this before on my Instagram story that I might not be able to post this but I thought I might just because of how many people wanted this. As you must have noticed that since the beginning of this year I have posted a bunch of makeup tutorials. There were still a lot of people who kept coming to me and telling me that hey Millie teach me how to do this look or that look and I, I kept asking them if my makeup videos weren't helping or if they weren't clear enough, if they were helpful and a lot of people told me that it's really difficult for them to follow a makeup tutorial when they don't know the basics of doing makeup so I thought of making a video which is uh, going to be specifically talking about basics and it's not going to be just a video it's going to be a whole series of videos so um, today on today's episode of makeup basics I'm going to be talking about base makeup which means your foundation contour your blush your highlight all of that stuff so just stay tuned first episode of makeup basics I will be talking about your base makeup and first I want to start talking about Indian skin tone and how to pick your foundation so uh, this has been a problem with me for many years I still face this problem and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one but it's so difficult to find a foundation shade that matches your skin when you're living in India or when you have an Indian skin tone but I guess we work with what we have so I'm going to be giving you a few guidelines on how you can choose your perfect foundation and how you should know which color is the best suited to match your skin. Some things to keep in mind while you're choosing your foundation shade is A what your skin tone is and B what your undertones are. Now skin tone and undertones are not the same thing. Skin tone is the color of your skin that appears on the surface and your undertone is kind of like the hue of your skin so it's like whether you have warm undertones or cool undertones have a major part to play on the kind of foundation you're picking for yourself most Indian skin tones have a warm undertone instead of having a cool undertone but there are some cases where Indian people have cool undertones I have seen that a lot of my friends have cool undertones so the way to understand whether you have a warm undertone or a cool undertone is really easy what you have to do is that you need to take your hand and you need to check your veins it's the color of these veins which will help you understand whether you have cool undertones or warm undertones now if these veins appear to be olive green or somewhere on the green spectrum it means that you have a warm undertone but if it appears on the blue spectrum or the purple spectrum it means you have a cooler undertone another way to determine your skin undertone is to notice how reactive your skin is with the sun if you're a person who gets really easy sunburns or gets extremely red in the sun that means you have cool undertones and you need to go for a foundation that matches cool undertones but if you're a person like me and if you don't get sunburns every time you step out in really strong sunlight it means you have warm undertones picking your foundation so all the foundations that are manufactured are divided into cool undertones and warm undertones as we have spoken about it earlier and it's really important for you to understand which foundation you need to pick and for that obviously the first step is understanding your undertones now once you have done that you need to see which shade matches your skin tone the best when you're at a mall kiosk the people who are assisting you at the desks where the makeup is kept they usually ask you to apply the foundation on the inside of your wrist and that's how you determine if it's your skin tone or not but that can be tricky because sometimes this tone does not match this tone as is my case because of which I have been wearing foundation shades which are like so much lighter than my face for so long but that's a different story so the way to determine whether a foundation is your match or not is by seeing if it blends well with your chin your jaw and your forehead so these are the prime areas you need to see if 
it absolutely blends with your skin like it's your skin tone because a foundation is not supposed to make you look lighter or darker it's only supposed to make your skin look more refined you should make sure that it absolutely blends with your skin tone if it appears too chalky it means it's a shade lighter if it appears muddy it means it's a shade darker if you have combination skin like myself you can uh, choose any range from a matte foundation to a liquid foundation but a whole lot of how your skin is going to look after applying the foundation depends on what was your pre prep and that comes from primer your moisturizer and all of those things make sure that you are not using extremely oily moisturizer or a very dry primer so i just balance in between and i use an aloe gel because it really really does the work for me it is non oily and it also moisturizes my face in places where it's dry so go with something like that if you have oily skin make sure you use a mattifying primer before you apply your foundation if you have dry skin you can always use a moisturizer the moisturizer that i use on my face is a johnson savvy one but i don't use for use it for makeup because my makeup will break out given the fact that i have combination skin so i was editing the video and as of editing it i realized that the entire video where i'm also uh, applying the base makeup is going beyond 20 minutes and i did not want to uh, make you guys sit in front of your laptop for 20 minutes at the stretch because then that would just be exhausting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to split this uh, one video into two parts and i will be uploading the second half of this in the middle of this week so keep watching and if you guys like this video please drop a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and yeah share this video with someone you think can make use of it see you guys next time Thank you.